Hi everyone. Today I'm back with you um, to show you how to make another instrument. Today we are going to use some um, some items that hopefully you have in your house if you're somebody who celebrated Easter um, to make maracas. Now, um, if you don't like the sound of that maraca, that's okay because I'm going to show you a whole bunch of ways that you can change up the sound of your maraca. So all you need are some plastic Easter eggs, okay? So I have some like this, okay? And you need, sorry, you need some plastic spoons, okay? If you wanted to make this as a temporary thing that you wouldn't keep for very long, then maybe your parents might let you use real spoons, but obviously those would, you'd have to take it apart again. Um, oops, my toddler's trying to change, or turn my screen, sorry. Um, or if you don't have plastic spoons, sometimes you could use sticks of some sort, sticks from outside or popsicle sticks. They won't um, lay nice and pretty like this, excuse me, but they will, they'll work, okay? Um, but the basic part is, is this and spoons. So you need two spoons for one egg. This is my son's from Easter this year as a dinosaur egg. Um, and so you're gonna find something to put in it, um, anything that you like the sound of. So this one right here, I made using lentils, just like I made with my ocean drum. I used lentils and I put them inside and it makes this sound, okay? Um, so I could do that. I could put a few lentils in. Um, if you, you can play around with, with the sound. You could play around with the sound um, by using a lot or a little. So here's a whole lot of lentils. I filled it up this side pretty much all the way up. It's a little bit louder. And here's only a little bit. Okay. So you can decide which of those sounds you like. I also, I have a whole bunch of stuff here we could try out. So see, I have some Easter jelly beans that my son is now hoping that I will give him. That makes a, a different sound, very different sound. I've got some beads. Some beads you can see, okay? That makes a nice loud sound. Let's see, I've got bird seed. Okay, you can see in there, there's some bird seed. That one's got a lot. Or if I pour a little bit out, it might change the sound a little. Okay, so that's bird seed. Let's see, I tried to get creative here. So I got some um, uncooked noodles. Some, these are egg noodles. They're not cooked yet. Noodles. One more. Noodles. Noodles. Oh, noodles. Yeah, it's noodles. Okay, so that's the sound that noodles make. Noodles. Noodles. Um, noodles. You can tell I went through noodles. my kitchen pantry here. This is cornmeal. We like to make cornbread with it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in here. See what kind of sound that makes. It's very fine. That means the pieces are very small. I'm not gonna do quite that much. Let's see if we can hear it at all. Oh, not very well and it's coming out on my computer. So we're not gonna use that, but you can definitely try some things like that and see. Um, but that did make a sound. It was a very quiet sound. We also, my husband has been into making um, his own like frozen banana ice cream stuff. So he puts chocolate chips in it. So I'm going to put a few chocolate chips in there. See what that sounds like. That's a pretty cool sound. And then I have some rice here. This is brown rice. You could use any kind of rice. Oops, I'm making a mess. That's not surprising. I make messes a lot. We got some rice. Mushy. Mommy. That's a kind of a nice sound. And then here's what you can do even further with that to make it even more interesting. You could combine things. So I've got, I'm going to leave the rice in here and I'm going to put two jelly beans in. And I'm going to see how that sounds if they're combined. 
Well, that gets it a little bit harder, a little louder sound. I like that. Um, I have used um, dry beans before. Those work really well. Uh, so you can do that. You can do it with anything that, that your parents will let you um, use to, to put in here. Um, keep in mind, try not to let it be wet inside because then whatever is wet in, in there gets nasty and you don't want to do that. Okay. So here the, here's the next part. So once you have decided what you're putting in your egg, you're going to take your two spoons. My son wants a noodle. Okay. Okay, you're going to take your two spoons. You're going to put them facing each other like this. Okay. You'll put the egg in there and then you're going to kind of squeeze them together. Don't squeeze too hard. I don't want you breaking anything. Okay. And then here's where you need tape. Now, use whatever tape you have handy in your house. It doesn't matter that much. Um, I just happen to have some blue painters tape here. Um, and so I'm, you can tape however much or little as you want, as long as you kind of try to do one circle of tape around the egg part, like that, okay? And then I'm going to do one circle of tape right here, just to make sure it stays nice and together, okay? So try to do at least this. Um, some people might like to do this and then add another ring of tape right here. Um, it's up to you. This one, you can see I put the tape all around. Um, and it depends on what you want it to look like. And then, again, one of the best parts with this, just like with the Osha drum we already made, is that you can decorate it however you want. So I got some googly eyes right here. I could put some googly eyes on mine. I don't have any glue handy, but... I could put googly eyes on it. I could put, um, I don't have my puff balls here with me, but if I wanted to, I could put a puff, well, here's a little one, a little puff ball on top for hair. Um, I've had some kids who like to tie yarn around it and let it hang down like this, okay? And that's fun. Um, so you can decorate it however you want. You can paint it, you can color it, you can tie strings on it, you can do whatever. Get creative. Send me or send Dr. H pictures or videos. We love to see those kinds of things. Um, and even Mrs. Gillespie, I bet, would love to see some of that and see how artistic and creative you can get with your maracas. All right. Have fun, guys.